In this video, let's learn how to make animated dynamic captions like these. All right, so let's hop into Descript. If you need a quick refresher of how to use Descript, check out our 15 minute overview video. And to add captions, it's extremely easy. Uh, we're just gonna make a scene for the section that we wanna have captions on. Then we're just gonna click the T up here and click captions. And that's going to add a caption track to the video. And you can see that it's underlined here. And so now I've got this caption layer. And basically what it's doing is it is reading whatever text we have in the transcript, and it is bringing that into the captions in a live dynamic way. So this might look a little different than what you see if you load the captions right now, because this is using the last style settings that we used. And I'm gonna jump into the styles in a second, but if your text just shows up as white text for each line, then that's why, but we'll go over how to edit just how this looks. And so it's basically reading whatever text is here. So make sure, and also we got a video on how to edit the captions, so check that video out, but make sure that your text is accurate here for whatever you want to show up on screen. All right, so we've got our caption layer here. So if we make sure that it's active and we come over here to the side with our settings here, we can adjust how it looks. So basic settings here, we've got our font that's being used. We have the text that, how it's being positioned. So most likely you wanna just leave that center aligned and middle aligned. And then we have if we want to be all uppercase or standard case. And then in style, if we click here, we get a little bit more options. And so this gives us a little preview as well. And this is where things get pretty cool. Um, so fill, that's just the color of what our text is. And then if we want to do something with active words, so that would be word that is being spoken, you can see that our background, we can't fully see it here, but we can see that the background is red. So let's say we just wanted it green. So whatever word is being spoken at the time, we could adjust the settings of that so it looks uh, different. And this also helps people, uh, eyes catch people's eyes, uh, keep the video more dynamic when we have the active words and things moving so it's not just one line of text showing up at a time. And then also if you wanted to add a border, you can add a border around that section as well. And then the other thing that we can style is future words. So, um, <clears throat> And then the other thing we could style is future words. So Phil is just showing words that have already been spoken and future words would be words that have not been spoken. So if you wanted to show up on screen, but it's a little bit fainter and not super active, you could dim it down and adjust the opacity. So we can kind of see the words that are coming, but they're not, uh, they're not active yet or they haven't been spoken yet. And if you want to remove this stuff, you can click the minus so that just everything is the same and everything's the same here. This will probably be what this looks like when you first open it because uh, you haven't added any styling yet. And then you can also add a border around future words. And then I also you just add a border around the uh, entire thing. It's not really showing up now because also we have this background on. So there you go, if you wanna add a border around the text, now you can see it. Get that Alex Hormozy look. And then if you want a background around the entire section, this is where you would add a background and change the color. So yeah, this is where most of the styling and the magic happens in making the captions look pretty dynamic. And then up here, we have some other options. These are more just presets of things that we just went over. Karaoke, highlighting the active word, kind of like karaoke style. And then clean, things are a little bit more minimal. But we pretty much went out. These are just presets for these settings. We've kind of went over this, uh, everything here already. And then a couple other just basic text settings. If you wanted to add a drop shadow to the text, you can. And if you wanted to add any other effects to the text, you could do that here. And also if you wanted to animate the text in, uh, you could do that here, but it would be just this animation in this section. Honestly, it would, doesn't really make the most sense for captions. And then the other thing that you're going to want to adjust is the size and positioning. So the really cool thing about this is as you adjust the size of the text box, it will dynamically update what words are shown in here. So if you make the box smaller, it will just show fewer words and then it'll just show it more frequently. Man, so if you want net worth, it's the 6 million in annual. If, you, if you're ever like trying to go for that really quick, like one word at a time type effect. It's the 6 million in annual income. That's sort of like stunning. Then you just want to make the box very narrow. And also likewise, if you make it uh, bigger up here, it'll add more lines up here. And so it's set to pretty much just fill the box as much as possible. So if you want three lines, four lines, just make it bigger. If you want two lines, just make it smaller. 
And then also the font size comes into play with how much you can fit in the box. And I'm holding down the option key, which expands both sides at the same time. If I wasn't holding that down, then it would just drag the one side. And you can drag it till it snaps and it's center aligned. And all of this stuff, same thing applies if we were to do be doing this for a vertical clip or a square clip or something. It does shrink it here, but you see that you could just same thing applies. You just make it bigger. And now let's say you wanted the really big text. So like one word only shows up at a time. Just make your font bigger and then drag the edges in so that we get Which one makes or two you want to understand time. this per injury lawyer business better like he says like you know i do no marketing i basically just and that's pretty much it uh the captions are pretty really straightforward just add the caption text here and then adjust your text and styling and as you saw it whatever settings you set it at it does remember it and it'll use it next time and also there are some other things we can display in this caption text it doesn't ha just have to be the text that we're pulling from here there are other couple options that might come in handy if you're doing a podcast uh, with different speakers or a couple other use cases all right so we've got our captions here let's click on the captions and then we actually there are a couple other options as well um, that might come in handy if you want to use this with uh editing or identifying speakers um, so we can click this caption drop down and so we can actually change uh right now it's pulling from captions which is the text that's being shown but if we were to say, okay, we just want a speaker ID, and this would be useful if you're switching cuts between speakers in a podcast, and you just want to not have to manually update uh, the text for whoever's on camera, then this is a great option. You can just say, oh, I just want to show out the speaker label. And if we drag this uh, caption track out here, we can see that it switches to the other speaker label that's identified here, and it switches back to when Sean is speaking. Uh, so that's just one you know, quick tip for if you want to use a different use case for this. And also, I've never used this, but if there is a reason, if you want to use show the composition name uh, for whatever the name of your composition is, you could display that. Uh, if you want to display the marker text, which we don't have any in here, if we hit enter and hit the pound sign, we get a marker text. So if you wanted to ID the section for a video and have it dynamically update, you could do that as well. And then lastly, if you just wanted to show whatever time the video is at, uh, then you could select timer. So those are some other use cases uh, for things that you could dynamically display in the caption text. And then also the other thing is, let's say, oh, you're like, I want the captions for like more of the video for the rest of the video. You can just drag this out in the timeline view and it'll pull whatever settings you have uh, and read the text. So it just automatically, as soon as you put it somewhere, it reads whatever text is there. And then also you can copy and paste this effect and same exact thing happens. It pasted it at the beginning of the scene head because I didn't add another scene, but you get the idea. Just add more scenes or just drag it and you get the same effect. It reads that he was... your text and turns it into captions. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you got any questions about this. Leave them in the comments below and be sure to check out all of our other Descript tutorials. And if there's something we're missing, something else you want to see, also let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.